Hi everybody, welcome back to 3 News Now. I'm Stephanie Haney. We've got your top headlines, trending topics, and what we're working on for you right now ahead of our 6 p.m. What Matters Most, 7 p.m. Front Row, and 11 p.m. What's Next TV shows. Today is Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019, and that makes today Giving Tuesday. Happy Giving Tuesday to you. This is a charitable effort every year right after Thanksgiving. There are many ways you can give back today if you feel so inclined. We'll tell you at least one in just a minute. The other things we're going to be covering today are very big news for Marvel fans. The official trailer for Black Widow is out, and you can watch that on our site. We'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute. Some interesting uh, news about Billie Eilish. We found out on an interview that she did that she didn't know who Van Halen is, uh, but she bet you, I bet you she knows who he is now. We're going to talk about that. And then Danielle Wiggins is going to join me. She is one of three hosts of our YouTube exclusive series, Reality Break. She's going to talk to us about a pretty tough topic, actually. Cleveland Indians in-game host Gabriella Cruz talked to the hosts of Reality Break. That includes Jasmine Monroe and Tiffany Tarpley here at 3 News about dating violence and overcoming those setbacks and moving forward in life. Now, this is a four-part series co-hosted by those three women here at 3 News. Danielle Wiggins, Jasmine Monroe, and Tiffany Tarpley. And the four-part series is aimed at lifting women up over good food and good conversation. All of those episodes are out right now. Some big names that they got a chance to speak with. Last week, we talked with Jasmine Monroe about episode one, which featured actress and screenwriter Yvette Nicole Brown. Today, I mentioned I'll be talking with Danielle Wiggins. They've also spoken with Lonnie Love and Ramona Robinson. So the full series is out now. Make sure you binge watch that. And then finally, we'll let you know about something else that you might want to watch tonight. There's a holiday classic airing tonight on 3 News, and we will reveal that at the end of the live stream. All right, first things first, it is Giving Tuesday. Happy Giving Tuesday. Now, this is always the Tuesday after Thanksgiving in the United States, and it's a movement that was created to create a movement around an intentional day of charitable giving at the beginning of the holiday season. If you feel so inclined, one day, one way that you can give back today is at the Ronald McDonald House Giveathon happening here in Cleveland. This is a charity that we sponsor, among other charities, here at 3 News. The Ronald McDonald House of Cleveland is a nonprofit organization that supports families whose children receive treatment at area medical centers and provides a home-like environment and essential resources and services for those children. You can go to WKYC.com and learn how you can join us if you would like in supporting this organization. Okay, big news for movie fans out there. The official trailer for Marvel's Black Widow is out now. As I said before, you can watch that on WKYC.com. The trailer has been trending number one on YouTube today, and everybody is so excited about this solo project because they've been talking about it for 10 years, ever since we first saw Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson, premiere in the Marvel Universe. So the first time we saw her was in 2010 in Iron Man 2. She was Pepper Potts' assistant at that time when she made her debut. So in Black Widow, the, the movie that the trailer just released right now, we see former Russian spy Natasha Romanoff, played by Scarlett Johansson. As I said, she meets up with her so-called family, people who were also trained at the Red Room, and they need to take care of some unfinished business. She is joined by actor Florence Pugh, who is playing the character of Yelena Belova. Now, in the Marvel comics, Yelena Belova becomes the second Black Widow. So we'll see what happens here in the movie. Now, as I said before, we first, star, we first saw ScarJo as Black Widow in 2010 in Iron Man 2. And we last saw her, here's a spoiler alert, if you have not seen Avengers Endgame, we last saw the Black Widow dying at the end of that movie. So people were happy to see her alive and well because this movie takes place in the two-year time gap between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. So we're seeing her alive, but it's in the past tense, so keep that in mind. Now, Marvel does say that we get to learn why she had to die in the Black Widow movie, and that comes out in May, so we have to wait a little while in order to learn that, but we will be able to learn that, you know, inside of seven months here. And that's according to the movie's IMDb page that it comes out on May 1st. And if you're not aware, IMDb is the Internet Movie Database, everything you could want to know about any movie. Highly recommend checking it out. And as I said, you can watch that full trailer on WKYC.com. All right, keeping it in the entertainment industry, you may have already heard that Billie Eilish didn't know who Van Halen was, but I bet you she does now. 
Okay, so she was having an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, and during that interview, he asked her about music from 1984, because that's when Jimmy was 17. Billy is 17 right now. And she's doing very well for herself as a 17-year-old, I must say, even if she doesn't know who Van Halen is. Now, in case you don't know about Van Halen, the Van Halen brothers, Eddie and Alex, formed the group, which later came to be called Van Halen. They started it in 1972 with their bassist, Mark Stone, and singer, David Lee Roth. Now, when Billie Eilish was just five years old in January of 2007, Van Halen was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She was only five, so we can maybe forgive her for not knowing that piece of trivia. And then around the internet, people were saying that we should really just cut Billie Eilish a break because after all, she is only 17. One person, Colette MKP, tweeted, why are people so angry that Billie Eilish didn't know who Van Halen was? She's a 17-year-old kid. 65-year-old men don't know who Billie Eilish is either. That's a pretty fair point. point. And uh, other people agreed with that person that it does go both ways and said that if younger people need to know the older artists, then baby boomers should know current artists, like user Sterons, who tweeted, boomers are going to make fun of Billie Eilish for not knowing Van Halen. Tell me who Mrs. Kesha is. <laughs> and then some other people, though, also came to Billie Eilish's, uh, came to her defense. Donald Clark 63 tweeted, just did the sums on the Billie Eilish doesn't know who Van Halen are thing and said good for her, by the way, and noted that for his generation, this is just like not being clued into who Benny Goodman is when he was 17. Some people out there are saying, though, that this basically amounts to disrespect of her elders, like Twitter user Captain Pink Beard, who tweeted, wait, Billie Eilish doesn't know Van Halen? Girl needs to learn some history and some respect. You have the luxury of making your music today because of Van Halen. Without him, Dracula would still be running amok. Now, in case anybody was worried about how any relatives of the band feel about this, Wolf Van Halen, who is currently the band's bassist and is the son of Eddie Van Halen, came to Billie Eilish's defense and tweeted on Monday, If you haven't heard of Billie Eilish, go check her out. She's cool. If you haven't heard of Van Halen, go check them out. They're cool, too. Music is supposed to bring us together not divide us. Listen to what you want and don't shame others for not knowing what you like. So there you have it. Those are the words from a Van Halen himself. Okay, now we're going to take a look at our YouTube exclusive series, Reality Break. Okay, now I'm here with Danielle Wiggins, co-host of Reality Break. Danielle Wiggins works with us here at Three News. Obviously, mm -hmm. you see her in the morning on Go mm -hmm. every weekday. And she is one of the co-hosts of this YouTube exclusive series. Yes focused on lifting women up over good food and good conversation. Yes. Thanks for joining us, Danielle. Oh, no problem. Yes, love Reality Break. It's all about helping women find their way as over, just like you said, over good food and good conversation. Now, why is this project so special to you? Well, it's special to me. It's actually, it was Jasmine Monroe, um, another one of our coworkers on the morning show. It was her idea uh, to come up and do a show for women. And my passion outside of WKYC is um, reaching out to women. Um, I do a lot of women's conferences and things like that. So when she came and said, you want to do a show for women? I said, oh, sure do, honey, yes. sure do. So it's a passion of mine. And throughout this series, it's a four-part series for season one. We're mm -hmm. very eagerly awaiting the next episodes. All four are out right now. But mm -hmm. in episode two, you speak to Cleveland Indians in arena host, mm -hmm. Gabriella Cruz. And you talk about a pretty serious topic. You talk about dating violence. Yeah, Gabriella, she has shared her story on multiple outlets uh, throughout Northeast Ohio. And pretty much Gabriella, um, as you said, she's the in-studio, not in-studio, but the in-host for the Indians game. So you see her, she's smiley, she's bubbly, she's doing all the um, fun activities during Indians games. But she has a pretty serious backstory. Uh, she had a domestic violence um, uh, she was in a uh, really violent relationship uh, into her college years, and she said it was like her high school sweetheart. So, um, yeah, we talked to her about, because we knew that she had shared her story multiple uh, spaces and, and in places here in Northeast Ohio. So we wanted to say, well, what are some of those things that you learned from your experience? Because she clearly overcame that. And so when people see and have a setback, then what are some things that we can do, even if it's not just a, like a domestic violence relationship or anything like that, but just any type of setback in life, how can we overcome that? And so that's what we talked to her about though. 
in these kind of scenarios, they really sneak up mm -hmm. on people. You can yeah. find yourself, if you're in a violent relationship or a manipulative relationship, you can find yourself justifying that person's mm -hmm. behavior by yeah. blaming yourself, making excuses for them, living in denial. So in episode two, she talks about how she was able to break out of that cycle. What is it that she shared with you all? Well, she gave pretty much like three things, or I kind of summed it up towards the end of the episode about, okay, so what you're saying, Gabrielle? So I'll give you one because we want to have people watch all of the uh, interview with Gabrielle. Oh, and we are just giving you the tip of the iceberg <laughs> of what they talked about. Trust, yes. you absolutely need to watch this episode. But yes, please tell us. Thank you. But her biggest one was the support of family and so and not just family but friends as well so surrounding yourself with people who support you and will tell you the truth but know how to tell you the truth in love so it, it really kind of hit me because I said wow a lot of times you look at people and you say well you should just leave or you should do this or you mm -hmm. should do that and it's it's hard for them but it's amazing with with any type of setback or any type of issues that go on in someone's life how important it is to have a group of people who support you and love you through it and that's what helps you kind of get over it and you talk about that idea when you see someone that you love in a situation like this it's very hard you mm -hmm. just want to shake them and say just just leave you know just get out of there but Gabriella shared a statistic with you that on average it takes people up to seven mm -hmm. tries to leave a relationship like that how did that feel for you when she it shared was that? it was you know it was it, I, I love that she had the statistics and it was interesting because about a year ago I also co-hosted not co-hosted but um, kind of emceed a domestic violence um, presentation and event with um, some people my sorority in uh, Northeast Ohio and they m uh, mirrored what Gabrielle said and and someone did a an, an illustration where she said everybody stand up you know and then we kind of like moved around and and she was like you guys were just come you were uncomfortable just moving two seats you know how do you expect somebody who has built a life with someone or this has been their normal wow. to move out and that really like hit me because it's like you know you're like somebody hit you you need to hit the door but it just it was like no and they said the same thing about how Gabriella said it's just you need to be supportive you need to be there for them and you need to speak the truth to them and walk them through that situation that is so powerful that really actually hit me what you just said there mm -hmm. about being uncomfortable to just move over two seats once mm -hmm. you're situated think about breaking out of your daily routine yeah. that's how difficult that can be so because of what she went through, Gabriella founded an organization called Love Doesn't Shove during her senior year of college. Mm -hmm. And if you are in a situation or you know someone who is in a situation, you can actually go there for resources. Yeah. If you're a victim yourself of dating violence or you think someone you love may be a victim of dating violence, that is at lovedoesntshove.org slash resources. And you can also reach out to the National, Divest National Domestic Violence Hotline at hotline at thehotline.org, excuse me, or you can call them. 1-800-787-3224. I'm going to say those websites again just in case someone is listening and they're not able to get to the comments or, you know, see this written somewhere. Lovedoesntshove.org slash resources. You can also go to thehotline.org or call 1-800-787-3224. And, of course, definitely watch episode two of Reality Break. It's exclusively on our Channel 3 YouTube channel. You can mm -hmm. get there at youtube.com slash user slash WKYC TV. We'll drop that link in the comments for you. Danielle, Yay. thank you for joining us Thank today. you for having me, Stephanie. We appreciate Love it. Love it. All right, something else that you might want to watch tonight after you're done binging all of Reality Break is Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Tole Stole Christmas. That comes on tonight on 3 at 8 p.m., and if you weren't aware, this year marks 53 years since the original broadcast of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas television film. You're most likely familiar with the story, but this is about the Grinch, whose heart is two sizes too small. He hatches this plan to steal Christmas. But in the end, well, you know what happens. This will be airing tonight at 8 p.m. on 3. And if you're in the mood for other holiday cheer, on Wednesday from 8 to 10 p.m., you can watch the 87th annual Christmas in Rockefeller Center, where they're going to light up the tree and show all of those festivities in New York City. And we also have the full programming list on the website at WKYC.com if you want to check out some of the other holiday programming we have coming up for you. It's a Wonderful Life and all that good stuff. I know we've got a Saturday Night Live Christmas special coming up among other things. 
All right, thank you so much for joining us here at 3 News Now. We really appreciate you being a part of the live stream, joining us on Facebook and YouTube. If you haven't already, please make sure you like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash WKYC dot channel three. You can follow along there for all of the content we have for you and all of the news updates throughout the day and all of our special programming. And also make sure you check out our YouTube channel. You can get there at youtube.com slash user slash WKYC TV. And once you're there, make sure you click subscribe and also click the bell on any of our videos so that you get notifications every single time we go live and you don't miss any episodes of 3 News Now so we can catch up every afternoon with what's trending, the top headlines, and what we're, what we're working on for you right now ahead of our TV shows. I'm Stephanie Haney. Have a great rest of your Tuesday, and we will see you on the air at 6, 7, and 11.